Hello everyone, how are you? In this video, I was talking about the reduce. We talking about the for each and the map and filter. Those three uh, common high order function in the JavaScript. And the reduce also one of the one uh, one of the important high order function. Now, what we can do with reduce? Reduce is used when when you have a situation like this. But you want to do something, cannot do it by using the map or filter. I will give you an example about that. But first of all, we have now a map. We I explained a map. Map is like a method, and it is return an object, right? We can say you can we can name it it anything like user, like anything we want, right? This method, map method or filter method. Return just one object, call it call uh, callback. It is like a, something or some object. The the method return it or to, to using it later. Now what about the reduce? Reduce also can use it, it like a map. Can use it, it like a filter. And also if there is any situation or any other example, we cannot using filter and. Uh, map to to handle it or to resolve this problem it you can use it the uh, reduce i will give you an example now if i want to return all the sum of all the salary for this this user how i can do that is i cannot do that by using the map and filter right so i using the reduce uh, first of all i will try to using the normal way just a for loop for example, I just say, I want just to uh, add, make a sum of all the salary. I should using the, for example, I just say let, for example, I make an uh, initial value, because uh, if I want to sum something, I want to initial value, uh, begin with the zero, and then add a number. For that, I just say, this, for example, equal zero, and then I say for, let i, equals zero because I want to looping over all the object inside the array. So I say i equals zero. The users, the array, dot length, dot length is uh, return the, the size of this array. The users dot length is just a function dot, dot length is uh, return the size of the, uh, of the collection or the size of the array. So this array consists from one, two, contain one, two, three, four, four object. So this uh, this function return the four. Uh, the index begin or start with zero. So we want just from zero. We want just we want just just a three. For that we say it is less than user dot length because this four and we want a three because this just from zero zero one two three and the length will return the four. Now. I say i plus plus to just a normal for loop. Now I just say zero or s equal s plus the users of i because I want the index from zero to three. Dot what because I want to just to the add the salary. So I say I should say dot salary. Oh, I and just like this, and now I just uh, uh, print it. the error link. Should I should say log? Now reload. Now it is, it is eleven thousand, right? If we add this number, five thousand plus one thousand plus uh, three thousand plus two thousand will uh, give us or return us the uh, eleven uh, eleven thousand, right? This is the normal way, but how we can do it by using the reduce? This is just an easy way to use it. I just uh, make a comment. Comment it is like this. Comment it. Make this code like a comment. It's not implement, not run in the browser. Just like this. Now, let. I will say also maybe s because I want to addition and equal the users the name of the array dot reduce 
We say the map return just one call back called user or anything map and filter return just one object right here return two objects so we should make another uh, pra practice here and say the the first object the return by the reduce it is a sum and the other like a map it is an object we can use a, use it anything for example here I can say user right and the first object is sum because it is the sum of something and the user and a second object uh, anything inside the user's array I can say user or anything now everything like the map I just say that like that is uh, and so also there's another argument here I can say it is begin from zero like this normal way I say it is begin from zero now it is also begin from zero I can say right so it's just uh, I say return here this is the easy way sum plus user dot salary because we want salary just like that now if we make the reload should be also 11,000 oh sorry I should make a console dot log console dot log I say s yes. Now, reload, also 11,000. It's just an easy way to do that. S yes, equal user dot produce. It is uh, written as the sum or uh, the summation or uh, from zero. We say the sum is begin from zero here. And return the user also, like a map and the filter, because it is make an iterating, make iterate over this uh, array and return the user object after iterate and then it is summation it is equal by zero and make a sum every every iter every iterate here every single iterate inside the uh, inside the array it is plus one plus one and so on and begin by zero you can begin it by one or anything now if you want to know what's happened inside the Re, re, reduce method I can just read uh, delete this console and make the console dot log inside this method user sorry I want to know what is the sum and user here make a reload the first sum is zero because I want I, I called it zero so the first sum here log sum it is zero, right? And the user, we say also return the user. It's the first user. It is Osama and so on, right? The second sum is five thousand because I want to sum to make a summation to the salary. So the next is the five thousand, the first salary, right? And the object also the uh, Ahmed. The third. It is 6,000 because uh, it is make add or summation 6,000 because 5,000 equal or uh, 5,000 plus 1,000 to 6,000. Just make a summation and then it is 9,000 and so on. And that's it. I hope it is useful. You can see how it is uh, important using the high order function in the JavaScript. It is Make the make our code is easy to read and is and cleaner and uh, easy to under, understand also. Thank you very much.